Hi, everyone. Welcome in. I hope y'all are doing great. I'm doing okay. So, full disclosure, I wanted to make some flowers with you all because I wanted to make some flowers. But, uh, we might not be making flowers today. Can you hear me? Hopefully, you can hear me. I see the um, microphone going up and down. But anyway, am I still muted? Okay, because I was muted at first. I wasn't talking. I was not at the computer. So, uh, full disclosure, full disclosure. This y'all, y'all, my test stream. Hold on one second, please. All right, so um, everybody's home. If you catch, if you catch what I'm putting down, big roommate, little roommate, both home. It's a work day, school day, all those days. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so welcome in, everyone. I just want to let y'all know that I am going. I'm. This is our test to see if we can actually stream at nighttime. I hope that th you are okay with that. Um, if not, then I'll be uh, remiss to say that you'll only catch me on pre-recorded videos. I do enjoy doing fellowship, craft, craftship, friendship in the live streams, but I don't know how it's going to go. So y'all let me know. Right now, I was mentally prepared, not physically prepared, because I, being the... Um, what is the word called when you do something to people? It's not a bad, it's it's bad. It's a bad thing that you do to people. Um, gaslight them. I was full on gaslighting myself. And let me tell you why. I had a medical appointment today. Okay. Uh, and... I got a shot in my foot, a simple procedure, nothing major. Y your friend can't walk that good right now. That's okay. No problems because I'm sitting down. I don't craft standing up. So it ain't like that's a big issue. But I walked around and I'm home. I got home a little bit late. <laughs> so uh, I need to cook. So I just finished up cooking. The big roommate is here so he could like stir the sauce for me because I made spaghetti and um I was like okay let me get myself together you see the material we was going with yellow thank you um Chalk City Sim and uh I had saw this really cool craft that I wanted to try I wanted to try I wanted to make some flowers uh you know paper flowers uh, so I was watching a video and I was like, okay, I got this and I was going to share this lady's link because there's no talking, like they're not talking on the video and that's my issue. You know how I, how I uh, talk a lot, y'all, you know how I talk a lot and it's no talking on the video, zero. I'm not sure how you learn, but as an adult learner for me, I need to see it, touch it, feel it, all that good stuff, right? All that good stuff. So we won't be doing that tonight. We're going to, we're going to, we, we are going to craft. Don't worry. We're going to sew some flowers. I didn't cut out any because I was like, yeah, I'm going to put the skin and cut to use. We haven't been using her this, this year much. And we're going to get some flowers and, and, and sculpt them and stuff like that. I can't even find my hot glue gun right now. So um, this weekend, my plan is to organize, but I do want to let y'all know that I plan I, if if today goes well, I plan on streaming in the afternoons from now on. Um, I am a, in the pursuit of employment. And if my employment is in the daytime, I can't stream. I can't craft with y'all in the daytime. I'll still have my videos made over the weekend. I'll just make all the videos that I need to make. <sighs> anyway, long story short, I am trying. This is our test run. My son is home. If you have small children, you know that they think that they're the center of your universe. 
And essentially they are until it's time for you to do something that's important. And then they no longer matter. At least that's how I, I told him. I said, I'm streaming. Don't make a lot of noise, uh, et cetera, et cetera. The, neither one of them listened to that. So anyway, what we got here is we got some, we got a raggedy flower, y'all. This is my uh, prototype and uh, Samara isn't here yet. I'm not sure she's coming, but um, she knows how I have to do a prototype. I have to do a prototype. So I'm going to go back and just say, hi, Chris. Welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Hey, Heather. How's it going? Hello, Chocolate City Sim. Hi, Mac Daddy J. Hey, Tony. I hope you all are doing wonderful this uh, Tuesday afternoon. Uh, I am doing okay. Besides everything I just told you, I'm doing okay. Now I just realized I forgot the air filter uh, filter thing. So I got to get that tomorrow because y'all know what happened in June. I don't want to repeat that not working. <laughs> so that'll be done tomorrow. I have a few things I got to get done tomorrow. And then... We'll see. Um, I forgot one thing, and that's okay. I'll get it in a little bit. So uh, where are we? We have a hacked up napkin. It's okay looking if you look at it like this. And what I wanted to do is make some flowers and create a project. Y'all know I always like to walk. I like for you to come and hang out, but I want for you to walk away and be like, yeah, we did something. And right now, uh, uh, this is this is not giving me anything but, girl, throw this in the trash. Like... I cut too much of the bottom part off because the video. Eh. Anyway, so we're going to try this once more. All right. So you need three napkins. We got one. And I got these from the Dollar Tree, which is pretty good. 30 napkins for a dollar and a quarter. I didn't um, think about Wally World. So one, two, three. Even Nicholas is getting in on the get, getting ready to get locked in a crate. The sun is getting ready to be sent to the room. And all right. Uh, anyway, so you need three napkins. This is all on the fly, y'all. So if it don't work out, we'll be okay. Okay. So then you're gonna take it and uh, cut it. You need to cut it in the center of the line. How was your day, everyone? I hope your day was good. You know what? I have a drink, just so y'all know. Not a um, let's get tipsy drink, but a, a soda. I want to attempt. I want to attempt. It's so hot right now. It's so hot in Texas. But I want to start walking in the afternoons and the evenings. It'll probably have to be at like 11 o'clock at night to walk because it's that hot. And even at 11 o'clock at night, sometimes it's still uh, 80 to 90 degrees outside. My day was okay. Posted a video today. Ooh, I got to go watch. I need to watch your, um, I said this last time. I need to watch your junk journal videos because I want to make a Halloween witchy one. Um, I'm going to, I'm actually going to be making some junk journals on the channel, but yeah. And also I need to get with Nick's crafty corner. We're going to, I'm going to be doing a live sale. So we'll see. So you need three of these napkins. Again, I'm not too fond of the end result on this one particular thing. And if not, we'll go back to what I know, which is sewing. I can stitch. I can do a single stitch with no issue. It's 102 degrees here in Boise today. Ugh, that's hot. That's hot. Let's see how hot it is right now for us. Not that I'm trying to say my heat is better than your heat. It was 104. 104. And it feels like... 106 so yep it's hot all right so then we're going to take these napkins and they just split them open and so what i'm going to do because this is a two ply you know dollar tree always get give you something extra sometimes 
and we're gonna just pull it apart like that. I have a junk journal playlist. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna watch it. Um, I have not been a good student of the craft lately. I've been playing video games a lot. And first and foremost, my YouTube channel was going to be a Sims 2 YouTube channel, you know, full disclosure. If you go back to like my old, like the the my original videos that I posted were Sims 2 videos. Horrible quality. Can't see nothing. I'm not talking. And all you hear is click, 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 click. But if you are a gamer and you play video games on a computer, then you know that click, 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 clicking is what you do when you click, 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 clicking. It's hot. Yes. Um, very hot. So. Uh, I hope you are hydrated. Please stay hydrated if not. Get some water, some H2O. All right, so you got your three napkins. And then according to the video, I will link the video in after the video is uploaded. If we keep this, uh, we will, because my goal next year, I don't know if I told y'all that, is to become monetized. And so I need all the watch minutes I can get. Now, this is where it kind of gets a little bit hmm, flaky for me. A little bit on the what did she just do kind of situation, but we'll see. If not, I'm going to show y'all some stuff that I had got from the thrift store a few months ago. So she takes this and then she accordion folds it. Now, this is where I, I get a little bit lost at because I know how to accordion fold. I know how to fan fold stuff, y'all. It didn't come out right. Hi, Samira. I was just speaking of you. Not bad before you even say anything. It was good. It was good. I was just saying how you were my emotional uh, support person when I do a new project. And we're doing a new project today. Because I didn't have enough time to actually do the things I needed to get done. But we're just going to fold this over like that. And then we're just going to accordion and fold this, baby. Y'all like animal print clothes? I do not. I am not an animal print person whatsoever. Um, but we're going to be working with animal print tonight. I do believe that's where this video is heading. Now, on the video that they showed, I don't know if our napkins are sturdy or less sturdy. Like, they're more napkin-y than hers. But look like she just got some paper on the other one that I really wanted to try and um, get done, but I could not, I couldn't figure that crap out at all. So I'm just going to crease the napkin. This is so weird. All right. We're going to crease this napkin. Now I'm going to tell you where I went wrong on this one. Cause you can see it's, it's not that bad, right? It's not, it's not that bad. If you ever know for sure that you want to try something and you give it your first chance and it doesn't work out try again try again try again try again try again right like if you really really want to try something um that is my full-on motto hello pink bay how you doing hopefully well so we're gonna take a rubber band and we're going to fold this over. Now, this is where I feel like I have, it's lost in translation. And by translation, I mean the lack thereof because there's no words. Okay. And the reason why I said this because she takes, once she takes this, she connects this end. She shows you how this end connects to the other end. So we're going to see. But we're going to fold this over. And I'm going to do two because we like to be extra sometimes. Now, I want to get my good scissors. Oh, do y'all have a top shelf, a pop shelf next to y'all? I had got these. I didn't feel like it was uh, enough to do a um, a haul video for one pair of scissors. But these are Cutter B. A lot of people talk about how great they are. I only got one pair. You know me. Normally, I would get like three, five, seven, twenty pairs. Because I'm like, if those go bad, I could just use another pair. But no, no, no. Uh, these right here. So we're going to try these suckers out, right? 
move this up a little bit. Let's go ahead and fold this back over. All right. So now y'all know I cut crooked. Don't judge me, but I do cut crooked. And we're just going to make a petal shape. And also, I was telling my my friends earlier, I was like, I must be turning into the, going through the change, y'all. Because I was standing in Dollar Tree line and beads of sweat was just pouring off my arms. And I was like, am I sick? <laughs> or is it just that hot? And, you know, with the whole foot thing, I was like, okay, maybe my body is kind of reacting funny to that. I don't know. But, yeah. I was like, one of my friends, Mac, she was like, it's hot. <laughs> it's just hot. I was like, I sure hope so. Now, since I'm a lefty, these scissors are slightly uncomfortable. I am sure that these are uni unisex scissors and un uni hand scissors. But, um, see, it says comfort grip handles left and right hand use. It, it's not comfort. Oh, yeah, the coffee filters. Yeah, we did better at the coffee filters, Samara, than we're doing right now, though. That is for sure, because, honey, I'm I'm slightly discombobulated uh, because I'm out. You know how I, I think all of us have probably done, it, especially people that have, like, other priorities, other things that you have to do. I tried to get everything complete, right? And and I'll tell y'all, I, I, I like to lie to myself and be like, oh, I'm a good multitasker. I'm not. I feel like I can do one good thing at a time and then the rest kind of falls into place. Maybe they are both hands and uncomfortable. They could be. Let me see. They feel better in my right hand, but... <laughs> I might be. Hey, Deb, how's it going? You making um jewelry videos? What you up to? I saw you posted something. I didn't get it. I haven't got a chance to watch anything the last couple of days, but uh, I'm gonna make that up. Y'all get so tired of me commenting. I've been trying to catch up on my comments too. So this is where I think we messed up on this thing. I didn't pull it out because I was trying to make sure my noodles didn't stick to the pot because I asked the big roommate to stir the sauce. So I go in there and I'm like, uh, the noodles. And you know what he tells me? No, right now I'm slipping down on the sofa. Girl, ma'am. Well, I hope that you slip on into a good slumber. Oh, too rough, too rough. We pulled it too hard. Um, I do hope you get a good sleep. I hope Callie is doing fine. I hope everybody's doing fine. Everybody. Uh, School started back last week, I think. No, I didn't tell y'all. I may have told y'all, but school started back last week. I'm so happy. I don't know how y'all feel about y'all people's going to school or going to work or getting out y'all your hair. I'm happy. Shh, don't tell nobody. All right. So remember I told y'all about this little fancy uh thing? I went to the to the thrift store today and I found a uh a lazy Susan makeup thing. And I was like, oh, I shouldn't get it. But I got it because I was like, this will look good on my desk. And I can put all my excess junk on there. Uh, so we're going to see. All right. I pulled these, these tweezers out just to pull up a little bit. I got a feeling this is going to be a lot better, y'all. I do have faith in us. Maybe y'all are giving me that courage that I need. And I didn't do that one right. I'm going to stick to that one. That was the first one. The 21, the 20th, the 21, the 20th, 20th one. The, the you know, as I do more, they're going to be so pretty. So, so pretty, I hope. But I got yellow uh, because I am partial to sunflowers. I feel like they are very easy to make and crafting and you can't really screw them up that much. And I was like, oh, I'm going to get my buttons out. Like in my head, in my head, I had 50,000 hours to uh, prepare y'all. But she didn't. She had uh, about an hour. And I started cooking at six. <laughs> yeah, we won't we won't be on long. Just so y'all know, our, my goal is two hours when we do the afternoons. If, you know, if that sticks. It just depends on, like I said, the employment situation. Um because I had applied at one spot that was 10 to 6.30. And I was like, ooh, 
is that good? You know, in my head, I was like, is that good or bad? I don't know. I was talking to the big roommate today about uh, picking our son up. And I was like, yeah, you know, if my aunt was here, blah, blah, blah. He was like, now, come on. Sometimes he is the voice of reason. I hate to admit that. Oh, my goodness. But he was like, he don't really talk like this. His voice is not that, like, come on. But he was like, you know, she wouldn't have wanted to come and live here anyway. Because we had offered that to her like six to eight months before she passed away. And she was like, I'm good. I'm going to stay right where I'm at because I don't allow uh, certain things that she was into doing in the house or whatever. And I was I was always on her about her health. That's why I try to keep all my appointments. I try to go to all the appointments if I have a pain or whatever, because we, the people that look like I do, are predisposed for not having good access to care as well as uh, not going when you have access to care. A lot of people, I've heard stories, and this this could be for any nationality, if I go to the doctor, I'm not going to come out. Well, shoot. You waited until your issue was the worst of the worst. Of course, you're not coming out. They're going to keep you for a while. Um, I, I told you all this before. I used to work on an oncology ward. And some people uh, were really good at going to the doctor. And some people weren't. And it just didn't matter. But uh, in general, I, I feel like people that look like me tend to avoid the doctors at all costs. Uh and since I worked in the medical field for a, a long time, I'm like, uh-uh, I know medicine. You're going to treat me. I have uh, this thing called insurance. We're going to use it because I'm definitely paying it every month. <laughs> I'm going to get my money's worth. I don't mind sitting in the work, emergency room with my son when he tell me, my pinky finger hurts. Hey, Liz, how you doing? Welcome in. We're making flowers, as we discussed. I, this is my first one, just so you know. This one is looking a lot better, I think. I don't know. You can tell me later on. And, uh, yeah. Did you go to the pool? I'm putting your business all out there. You know, I apologize. How you feeling? You feeling better? I hope you're feeling better. So, on a happy, happy note, can y'all believe... Girl, I just really started. You ain't late. Uh, I'm still on the first one. This is our first one because this, this is the prototype pre recording. It was crap. Uh, we're in the middle of August. Where, 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 where is this year going? And why are we on the gas? Please. We're not running from the police. We're not trying to cross the border because we didn't rob the bank and we're about to get away with it. And we got to go over that uh, police line to get to where we're going because we didn't made it. We, we Slow down. I think for me, I have definitely tried my best to enjoy every little bit a lot better. Yes, I'm doing better. No, to poo. Oh, it's raining. Girl, send me your rain, please. We need the rain. I did see Nicholas washing his face earlier, so maybe we'll get a little bit of rain. I learned that from my aunt. She was like, it's going to rain. She didn't talk about that in real life, but... <laughs> If she knew I was making fun of her, she get me. She get me. <sighs> I'm gonna tell y'all something. This, this right here, this is not for me. This is very specific, Ron. Have you done that before? No, I have never done this before. Never have I ever made this flower in my life. I watched a YouTube video today. Because the video that I wanted to watch, 31 seconds. I need more. I need at least 42 seconds to do it uh, better. But um, I can't find my hot glue gun, so we can't do the other stuff. What I think, what I, uh, well, what we're going to do, we'll probably end up coloring this, but, um, or this one. And so, oh, no, no, no. We could, oh, see? We could color her and put this in her hair. I usually do a stamped image when I make these flowers, but this might work. Um, we may do this, but 
if you all remember a while back, I had colored a lady like this who was a mermaid. And I feel like these images are just circulating. I um, got this in a bundle off of uh, one of the gaming site places that I go to to get um, discounted games. And I got that. And I was like, oh, yes, please. Thank you. And the co is a commercial license attached and all that stuff. Uh, but I don't sell the images. But let's just say I was making a junk journal and I needed that, then that would uh, be something that I would delight in. You know what I'm saying? Yes, yeah, 31 seconds. And the lady don't talk. The thing about making tutorial videos for myself and other people, everybody learns different, right? So you might not like people talking because you can watch them, but I'm usually in the kitchen cooking or washing dishes or doing some other stuff. So I need measurements in the description box. I need quantity. I need all that detail because that's just how I uh, tend to do my tutorials. You see how I got high pitched because I haven't did a tutorial in a minute. But when I do the tutorials, I like to have all the measurements out. That's why I told you that um, we need three of these napkins cut in half. So essentially we have uh, six layers, yeah? And I was going to dip this in some uh, ink. <laughs> Y'all thought I was going to say glitter. No, I was not going to say no dang glitter. Uh, so essentially, all you watch me doing is pulling this apart. And Samara, yes, this is like the coffee filter flower. Okay, so this is one. We only going to do like two, and then we're going to move on. But I'm going to um, show you three different techniques, not with this tissue. And you know, worst case, worst, worst case come, we can always just wipe our face with this or clean our desk up. I don't like to, I don't like to make the tissue go to waste because, you know, the whole COVID, no toilet paper thing, um, when that happened, the big roommate was like, well, we got plenty of paper. <laughs> I looked at him like, you're not using my paper to wipe your behind? What? That's worst case scenario. All right. So we just fluff it out some. All right. I'll be right, right, right back. All right, so this is the coffee filter one that we had did a while back, a couple of years now. I think it was 2018 and 19, and I have it on my kitchen in like a little flower pot. Uh, so as you can see, these are coffee filter, and this is how I glued them down. And it's one, two, it's a few, it's a few. And these right here, I took the inks, and I just rubbed them across the bottom of it and then needs the same thing so you can see how it looks and for this one this is i teased this is the one no this is not the one i tea stained a few of them and dipped them into fabric softener and they have they just now have lost their scent i don't sniff them all the time but i mean it's just paper but these are coffee filter it's a coffee filter bundle a bouquet if you will so these look a lot better. I was much more rough with these because it's paper. This is this is like don't bother me because I'm a tear. As you you may not have noticed it, but I tore a few of the strips. I'm okay with that because these are again prototypes. So yeah, and then um, I had got these from the flea market, not flea market, the thrift store. And as you can see, I that's why I actually if you liked animal print because we're going to be taking um, one of these and we're going to make a flower. So go ahead and get your needle and thread out because you're going to need your needle and thread. Thank you so much, Pinky. Uh, all 
Do y'all Sudoku? And these are brand new, not open, never used. They were $13 at Hobby Lobby. And then Hobby Lobby clears them for $5. And when I went there, it was like five of these in the container. In, in like five of these packages. And the girl, because it didn't have a price on she said, I'll sell it to you for 20 cents. I was like, I should go back and get the rest. I am not into animal print at all. But uh, I thought this would be fun to do. So I'm just taking this packaging off. I think it would be really cool. Um to say the least so get your needle and thread out we got our thread needle i don't recommend you using your paper scissors to cut fabric i recommend you bust out either your universal pair of scissors or you get your fabric scissors to cut the fabric and that's what we're gonna do And this is trash, so we're just going to take this. We're going to get our real band back, you know what I'm saying? Oh, you like it? Yeah, I know you like it, Liz. When I saw this, I was like, oh, that's that's what I'm going to make Liz something with one day. One day. I do want to tell y'all that we have a few projects that I'm really excited about making. So I hope that you uh, get excited, too. So I'm going to just do probably four rows of this it's roughly under tw it's almost 12 okay so then i'm just going to cut this now you see that it has holes in it because this is this is oh, do i have a crochet needle up here i have one a hook not a needle is right here you're supposed to take this and crochet this right so um i'll show y'all what this one i made very crafty one of these and she broke it mm -hmm. i i said what i said barry i said what i said right and so you just kind of um you can pull over if that's what the thing says like that and then pull this one over and it'll start me this making this uh wave effect i i, I listen let me tell y'all something she lives in Florida, right? Y'all know I give Florida so much crap um, because Floridians, my number one thing that I say is that they can't drive. If I see somebody that has Flor Flor Florida tags, I tend to get in another lane and that's never going to change. I've had experience with Florida. People that have Florida tags, I can't even say they are from Florida. They could be from Texas just driving Florida, a car with Florida tags. So, you know, it is what it is. So we're going to go ahead and... Um, put our eye on there but that's just my opinion i know a lot of people that complain about people that drive how they drive in texas but i haven't had that experience of every person driving like that until i moved to san antonio the people here are just very selfish very selfish drivers floridians are crazy drivers i'm pull up now i'm pull up girl pull up we know you will it was stuck and i tugged it uh-uh, let me tell y'all. So, when we first met, right, like a few people that I've sent things to, um, she likes animal print. So, I made this animal print thing for her and I sent it to her in the mail, right? I think it was for a swap or something. She's like, oh, look. Now, I don't know if she still has this video, but she showed all the stuff that I sent her. This was in 2018? No. Seven, 16 or 17 right and i i didn't take any offense to it, and i still don't take any offense to it, even though i'm calling her out yeah um so now what we're going to do is we're going to just take these two ends i'm going to straight it out so we can um make sure everything's straight right so um i sent her a scarf now i like scarves when i was into my quote-unquote fashion days like i was like i'm gonna be this person and she wears scarves and boots and matching gloves you know i was a, a broke hillary right hillary from fresh prince uh don't judge me though okay so we're gonna we've matched these two ends together and now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna cut this a little bit because i want it to be straight right so anyway i sent her some stuff right and i think you i think she did a oh look what i got in the mail happy mail i think she did right um, so now we're going to just take this and what we're going to do is we're going to, do I want to do it this way? No, we're going to do one at a time. So we're going to fold this over. We're going to fold it towards us because why not? And 
we're going to go from the bottom up. Okay, and we're just doing a simple stitch. Okay, hello. I've been to see this on replay. All right, Bex. I got grills. I'm on my way. Oh, I'm on my way. I got I got an end stream, y'all. I'm going to get me some some. Excuse me, some salmon. All right. So the reason why we're stitching this bottom portion up is because we want we don't want these ends lingering. No other reason, no real reason besides that. All right. So I sent her a scarf and some other junk, right? Uh, some craft stuff, right? Uh, I always asked her for a long time. Did you have you worn your scarf yet? Have you worn your scarf yet? And she probably got tired of me asking, "Have you worn your scarf yet?" She was like, "Listen, I live in Florida. It don't get that hot here." I said, "You need to overheat for fashion. It's a cute scarf. You like animal print? Wear the freaking scarf. It's not. It's too hot. Blah 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 blah." Well. This year, I think it was this year, either in the last year. So we're just doing a, sim a simple uh, stitch, right? A running stitch, running stitch, running stitch. If you have a thimble and you are a chatterbox like I am, I would recommend you uh, use it on your finger so you don't worry about getting poked. Well, this thing she said it was on her. She had it hanging up as a display. And she pulls the daggone scarf. And guess what happens? Because the stitch is so simple, it unravels. Unravels. All my two hours of work goes down with a simple tug. And guess what happened like so, um, a week later? Maybe even a couple of days. She's like, it's cold. I said, you should wear your scarf I made you. Oh, you can't because you didn't tore it up. She broke the scarf. Ask me, I'm gonna make another one. Is the is the real question? I'm gonna go ahead and tell you no, not gonna do it. Uh, I had made the uh, Christmas what year was it? 2014? No, 13, 12. It was 2012. I had made my stepdad because at the time he still lived with me. Made him a a hat, right? A crochet hat. It's the simple one that they have. It's called like the head hugger or something like that. It's real easy. The one I made a while back, and I'm supposed to be sitting in Chocolate City Sim, and I still haven't because I'm rubbish. Uh, Y'all know that. I do appreciate that you still you still support me, but I am just rubbish. I have come to the conclusion that I am rubbish. And if you ever notice, I don't do giveaways and stuff like that because you'll be getting that stuff in 2070. Um, It'll be my grandchildren talking about what well, my grandma had told me to mail all these packages off. I know that the person probably not here, but this was in her last will and testament, and I have to fulfill it or she gonna hunt me because that's the uh the curse I'm gonna put on them. Right. Anyway, um I'm not gonna make her another one. She should have did she should have took better care of the one I did send. And I feel like she didn't like it. No, I'm joking. I'm not going to make you another one, but <laughs> you loving the company. Listen, I want to tell y'all, I am much better at thinking in the daytime than at nighttime. So I was telling Chocolate City, I was like, yeah, they might not get the Happy Go Lucky uh, brandy. They might get the What You Want DMV customer service brandy because mm, it's almost eight. I don't I don't do good in nighttime. I am not a I'm a morning person. If y'all have ever talked on the phone with me, y'all know that. Or seen me in action in the morning time, y'all know that I'm much more of a morning person where most people are like I haven't had my coffee yet. Don't talk to me yet. We're just gonna adjust that. Um I'm like, hi, I'm sending text messages out. Good morning. How's it going? How are you doing? Oh my gosh. Oh, thank you so much, Pinky. I really appreciate that. I really, really appreciate that. Yeah, I just want to give you all that I got. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and work this out. You see how it's just like ruffling up and it doesn't hurt that it's already like a ruffle pattern anyway. Can y'all see it? It's kind of cute. And I was like, Brandy, uh, who the heck has a leopard print flower? 
We do now, baby. We do. Because this lady, she said, you can't hold me down by just solid colors. I might need this in my life. We're going to color her up a little bit tonight, just so you know. But we're going to make these flowers because that's what I put in the title. Also, um, next week, if we do this again next week, it'll be the same time. I think 7 o'clock is a good time. Uh, my son seems to be kind of... Okay, but I'm not sure if y'all can hear that noise in the background. He's ran in here like five, six times, and I don't like that. So uh, I got to figure out my craft space upstairs. I don't like to be interrupted. Oh, yeah, with our buried teen in the morning. How you doing? Hey, girl. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. My voice definitely... Um, gets a little bit lighter throughout the day. But in the morning, I'm like, hi, guys. We're going to go over here and bench press these uh, well, these weights. I love that voice, though. Um, it makes me think of my mommy because she had a heavier voice. It wasn't very uh, delicate. And she, I think I told y'all, she calls me like, yes, sir. She's like, ma'am. <laughs> ma'am, like the... Uh, lady that was on the um GameStop commercial. I uh, not commercial. It was not a GameStop commercial. It was it says uh person freak I don't know if it said person freaks out at GameStop or something like that. Yeah. But it uh it was crazy. She was like ma'am. I'm like yes ma'am sir yes I'm like just don't call me late for dinner. That's all don't call me late for dinner. Make sure you invite me over. Like Beck says, she getting some salmon going. I want some of that. Now, the good thing about thread, right? Because this is always an issue. Um, you only need like 12 inches. 12 feet. 12 feet, not inches. 12 feet. 12 feet? 12 inches. Let's just measure this out. 12 inches. GameStop has the tiny figure. Judy? Ooh. Judy ain't my own girl. Yeah, 12 inches. So I I, I would recommend 24. 24 inches. Can we even get this in a 24 in this? And I think I did 48. But that's okay. We're just going to have one big floofy flower, okay? And if you are so inclined to do this... And you have little ladies that like this, or if you're in a cheer team, because the cheer team team always had this, you can make bows out of this, hair bows. Feet would be long. We like that. We like long stuff. <laughs> Do we not? It's 12 inches, though. 12 inches is pretty um, long for craft stuff, unless you're doing paper. Pink Bay, don't do that. Don't do that. I mean, it's nighttime. What you expect? That's what I'm saying. Mine goes from... Oh, to, oh. All right, anyway. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and... Um, I think we're going to stop it right here, because I think this is pretty decent size. Um. Yeah, so the answer to will I be making very crafty any more of these things is no. Could I easily make this? Because I'm quite sure she's like, I love that color. I could, but I'm not because I'm petty. And uh, that's all I have to say about that. And plus, you know, I'm sensitive about the stuff that I send people. I'm always like, do they like it? It's ugly. They didn't say anything about it. Oh, did they use it? That's why when people send me things, I'm like, this so-and-so sent this to me because I want y'all to know I really appreciate the love you give me. It's so funny. Last night, um, I had had a conversation with my friends, my gaming, my gaming ladies, and um they were talking about how people just do random acts of kindness, meaning their significant others, right? Their spouses. And I was like, uh, I don't get that. Today he brought me a drink, but I had to ask for it. Right. 
I'm just going on a record saying I asked for the drink. If you ask for it, you get it. I mean, it kind of defeats the purpose, though. Okay, so we got a knot right here. We need to fix this knot real quick. Yes, there we go. All right, there we go. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the scissors. I know I didn't tie the knot yet, but I like to tie the knot like this. I'm not sure if you all tie your knots the other way. I like to tie it first this way. Gotta go late dinner. Dinner? What you having? What? Somebody, I'm ha we have spaghetti. I made spaghetti. Uh, t I didn't make my... I wanted to make some turkey chops. But she didn't take the daggone meat out the freezer. I'm going to do that tonight, though. I'm going to put it on the other side. All right, so there we go. Lisa, I ain't got time for you to keep bashing me. I'm about to roll out of here. I'll get you later, though. So we're going to clip this right here. And there we go. I'm in a yellow, not a yellow mood, but a yellow color craft situation. And so if you make this longer, right, because it's kind of short, it's kind of awkward. If you make this longer, it fits better. I have a bead, um, a bead that we're going to, we could use. I don't have my glue gun plugged in, the hot glue gun. So it's no sense in actually pretending like we're going to hot glue, but I'll show you for your purpose because you could do these easy piece too. So we got our knot going here. And then I'm gonna get this real quick. Quickly, FYI, not related, new updates and family and pets. And what kind of pets and have a sh man. I swear. Well, y'all, I'm going to be seeing y'all. No, I'm joking. So you could take this <laughs> gem and put it in the center like that. Thank you, Chocolate City Sim. I appreciate that. I will be getting the details later. I'm going to do some Sim stuff tonight, though. Uh, I got to write some I got to do some handwriting. But see, this is how you would do this. And then if you want to make this a hair bow. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing some stuff. I have to. Um, I don't have to, but I want I want to. I need to. I think I have a some type of shard in my foot, which is not good because it's in the right foot. When um the big roommate came home, I walked in the kitchen and he just he was like, she falling apart. And he laughed. He didn't laugh like, ha, ha, ha. He was just like, you falling apart. I was like, thank you so very much. So anyway, I would probably put a black button here because I just feel like that brings it together. And then on this side, you can put a round uh, black felt circle. And you can make some hair bows out of this. Especially if you have, like I said, anybody that's into this. And, you know, even though I am a, a mature lady, I have seen other ladies that uh, wear hair bows. And I'm like, go for it, girl. Go for it. And so here we go. We got a little twist going on. And that is that. Now, the last uh, flower. You know what? I don't know. I don't want to make it. I don't want to make it. I don't want to do that one. Let's get this lady going. Because we are going to have her. We may not finish her tonight because I do want to give you the caveat. Nighttime streams will not be super long. Uh, they will be at a max, an hour and a half, at a max, at a max. So if we finish our project in 45 minutes, that's what we're going to be doing, 45 minutes. So uh, this is image one, two, and three. So... If you want to see me do the lady uh, or the image one, so put one, two, or three, whichever image you want to see, and we'll get we'll get to it. The thing with this, so this is two, right? The thing with two is that she, we will uh, attach flowers to her at some point. That's one, and then that's two. We'll we'll probably make more flowers another time. So if no one has uh, their on what they want to do, I'm gonna pick my own. So one, girl is two, and then this is three. We we won't finish it, Pink Bay. I can tell you that right now. Two. Okay, we're going to go with two. All right. We won't finish her tonight. All 
Now, normally when I know that they are sea sirens, the ladies that destroy ships, mermaids, uh, I make them, I try not to make, I try not to give them a human characteristic, but since I feel like she's a sun goddess, she, she blooms flowers and all these are like swirls of something around her, which in the other picture, this is uh, water. We're going to have our hair like this. Okay. And then, so what, when we finish her, we'll, we will we'll probably, hmm. I'm trying to see how much we're going to chop off. Yeah. You know, I'm not that great at coloring pinky. Um, so we're going to chop this off. And we need to leave that on. What are these blue lines you're asking? Everything past the blue line is not actually needed to color. Because I'm going to chop this off and we're going to make this into a book cover. Some type of book. So we're going to have her at six and a half, six and a quarter by um, seven. So we've got to keep that in mind. I also want to do images that I can actually use my 12 by 12 paper on and make like little books and stuff. So she'll probably be a flip book this way to be a long book because we can put our blind paper that you probably, pro nobody probably stocked up like I suggested because back to school is going on. But Chris, Um, and so we're going to do this and I think we're going to do a few different colors. Yeah. Um, and I want her eyes to be like gold, not gold, silver, green, gray, green. I feel like her eyes are gray, green and she has a light lipstick. So we're going to go with the color pencils first, excuse my arm. And we're going to go with this color. So what y'all been up to? How was your day? Like, are y'all okay with having the late night stream? Or do y'all, well, uh, I can't ask you if you prefer a uh, morning stream. But are y'all, can we commit to this time? That's not the right uh, green. Can I commit to this time? I think it's okay for me for now. I'm not sure how it's going to be if I actually um, have to do a whole day's shift. But, you know, today I feel pretty good besides what we discussed earlier. And I don't want to keep bringing it up. Let's see. Oh, yeah. There we go. Since I've been spending most morning outside, I think it's perfect. You've been touching a lot of grass, huh? We love that. Yeah, I'm going to have to shift all of my streams to the afternoons, evenings, but I'm not sure about my gaming streams yet. I haven't figured that out yet. I can hear Heather now. You know, if you just swatched those out, you wouldn't have to keep doing that. I know. I know. Heather, if you're still here, how was your move? Yeah, it's it's gonna take some adjustment, but I'll be all right. I hope. This is way too orange. I also want y'all to know I've been trying to avoid using the Copic markers because right now the stores are running hot with these little colors. So uh, I, you know, I want to support that. 
Yep, there we go. And I want to give her a few. I'm going to make her a mature woman, as we tend to do sometimes. But that's only because, you know, she is the goddess of growth. Not fertility, just growth in um, floral. Like she controls pollination and not baby pollination. <laughs> Make sure we put that out there like that. She's still learning. You know, that's why her hair isn't as mature as others in her group. Okay. I feel like also she's a hot mess express when she's not doing her job. They're like, where's Ray? And they're like, oh, well, she's like, great. <laughs> what is she doing now? Why is she messing with the sheep? She is. She is definitely a pollination technician friend. All right. So we're going to be using some Spectrum Noir. I think they call these classics now. I'm not sure. Mm-mm. This is too dark. Let's see. Hmm. These are dark, dark, dark. That says orange. Oh, let's try GB. GB, baby. Ooh. You know what? We're going to just skip this and go on about our business to this other color. Mm-mm. Burnt sienna. A little red ain't never hurt nobody. There we go. All right. So I'm going to just turn the image around. Samara, how was work? Anyone that had work today besides Samara? How was your day? Like I had dressed her already, so. But how was your day? When you were outside touching grass, Pink Bay, how was it? How'd the air smell? Fresh? My day was great. Aside from all the nonsense I told you. I didn't burn the noodles or the meat. So I had sent a room, uh, the big roommate a message. And he wrote me back, yeah. See, this thing is this color on this side. The ink is not evenly dispute, distributed. And um, he called me. <laughs> you hate grass. Grass is amazing. I always looks like straw right now, though. So, yeah, we need some rain. I would like to live in a a cooler, not a cold, super cold, but a cooler climate. And I would love rain, you know, a little bit more frequent. Because aren't we, are we still in hurricane season? So dry right now. Yeah, this is not going to turn out great. That's okay. We can always fix this. So this is the same marker. The exact same marker. And one side is super duper brown. Yes, into November. Y'all been getting a lot of rain, Samara? I know Liz just said it's raining today, but I 
haven't heard her talk about rain at the home from this year, this summer. We have not, where I live, gotten a lot of rain. If you all are concerned about that gray, don't worry. We'll go back over it at the end. But I need to fix this brown. It's been raining every day. Oh, Lord. So I'm going to try my best to fix these locks. If not, I'm not going to even um, waste our time. I will just print her off again and color her, you know, in my quote unquote free time. So what I'm trying to do is match these colors up and like stop at a certain point and we'll just say that she let her hair grow out because she got in trouble for changing the color. You know, somebody else said, these like peas, so that's good, I guess. People always got something to say when you're supposed to be setting an example, right? What they say, I know I'm old enough to know better, but I don't care. Something like that. I feel like that right now because I have talked about this. Um, do you? Well, I can just add add it to your, uh, you know. Um, I'm going to send you an email when I finish uh, tomorrow. I'll, I'll send you the email tomorrow. And you'll know what to do with it. Um, what was I going to say? The economy, I went to the grocery store today. I promise you I had less than 20 items, maybe maybe 22 in the bill. Oh, the bill. I've said this before, like in Texas, the minimum wage is $7.25. Have y'all bought a pack of chicken recently from McDonald's, uh, Walmart? A pack of chicken is more than $7.25. So you got to work like three hours to buy one pack of meat. That's ridiculous, in my opinion. I know some people are like, no, that's, that's fair. We're going through a recession or uh, inflation or... I do have a question. After inflation, they don't deflate the prices, though. Like, they don't take the prices back down. It just stays there. And somehow the economy balances itself. So, but you can't, you can survive off of, you can survive off of $7.25. I'm not sure the lifestyle that you'll have because that's not good. I feel like that's below poverty, but. I, I just don't think that's a good living. And so, um, you know, if someone's making $10, 12 dollars an hour, I bought a pack of meat. I was so devastated by the price. I think that's my problem. Like I had, I have sticker value problem, sticker shock. The price of the meat was $12 and some change, twelve fifteen or something like that. And I'm like, uh, what? How is this possible? All right, I think we're just going to cover this up. And I'm going to try to find a lighter color, like a yellow, even though you should go light, then dark, not dark, then light. And we're going to try to uh, fix this. Yeah, these prices are crazy. I had asked Barry Craft. I was like, why is mayonnaise five dollars? Miracle whip. Let me make let me just put that out there. Miracle whip is five dollars. And I don't like the other kind. 
But I'm going to have to buy the off brand and see how it tastes. And if it tastes okay, I'm going to have to start using that because condiments? Condiments cost that much money. What in the world? Why are condiments so expensive? So we're going to try this color. See if we can't uh, lift, lift it up some. The answer is no. I wonder if I use tender pink. Let's see. Let's try it. It's crazy, Samara. Crazy. And my thing is, I remember when they was talking about increasing the minimum wage price a couple of years ago, the companies was like complaining. I'm like, bruh, are you really complaining? You got these people on the front lines doing this for a low amount of money and you complaining. Let's see your salary. That's crazy. I don't know. It just bugs me. It bugs me more and more because we have a high homeless uh, count where I like down the road from me and every time we pass by like the first time we passed by this was a couple of years ago they come and clean it up and then they move from one spot to the next and you know that decrease depreciates depreciates your property value with with that kind of stuff and it makes people not want to come to that area to purchase things so with a, a high homeless count we lose money in that area if that you know if that is the case um if people were actually coming over here and they started to like we're going to just color right outside these lines a little bit don't worry we're going to go back with a different color and i need to be mindful because i want to color some of these like like this area i want to color like some bright pops even though we're going to put this flower on not today but when we finish her we're going to put this flower like right here and i may actually put some more little paper flowers around the thing once we finish because i think i think i think I want to laminate this image once we finish coloring her up. So we'll see. Um, you know, they come and clean it up. I had watched this. I can't say it was a document. It was this video on the homeless problem, like in California. And they had a bunch of wildfires. So, yeah, they're going to have a different reason. These people here, um, I think some of them have drug, a high drug problem. But I don't know. Like, I'm not out there doing interviews and asking them. I just know one day this man was like, can I have some food? So I gave him some food. I was like, please eat this food. Because just like you homeless, I ain't got a whole bunch of money to be doing that. But, you know, sometimes when you walk past something to say, go ahead and um, help, you know, help them out or whatever. And that's what I got. All right. So I like this uh, so far. I'm not sure about y'all, but I do. And now we're going to go lighter. We're going to fix this. By the end of you, I'm like, oh, I need my hair dyed. <laughs> I want to dye my hair blue. Because y'all know blue is my color. That's the color I like. That's my color. My preference is blue. But uh, the big room was like, no, nah. no, you can't dye your hair blue. What do you want to dye your hair blue for? You think you're young. I was like, only young people dye their hair that color because blue is amazing. He's like, you know what I mean. I was like, nope, I have no clue. He didn't say it like that, like with that that voice, but the tone was there. The tone was like, I guess I got to be your father too. So I got these from Ross. They have a brush tip. I've been seeing these a lot more lately at Ross. Um, I didn't buy any, though. I do have a marker set that I need to review. I had got off Amazon a while back. Deb has said that she wanted to see it. I just haven't um, gotten it around to because I'm not very good at marker reviews. I'm much more of a, this isn't the same as this. But this time I want to, like, color something with the same colors like something simple like a car or a bus or something. Something easy peasy. 
lemon squeezy. So to, like today I had um after I left the doctor's office, I had to run some errands. So the first spot I stopped. I intentionally went to the Dollar Tree to look for those napkins because I don't have we use paper towels, so I don't have those I don't have napkins that I could use. And somehow, believe it or not, I was like, I should just do some more filters. Cause I had those because we don't drink coffee. So it's so funny. So um my uncle had came to visit. A while, a long time ago, and I had had those filters, and he was in there making coffee, and he had made coffee. <laughs> this is so funny. It's crazy when you think about it, but he had made coffee from the coffee that I was using to craft with, and I was like, "You like that coffee?" Because you know, I, I still put the food in the in the food area. I don't. Um, I just took a spoonful out and made it into the tea, the coffee staining. But he was like, yeah, it's okay. I mean, it, it ain't it ain't what I use. And my grandfather, I think my grandfather used Folgers. Because I think Folgers is like one of the older ones, right? So I think my grandfather had Folgers. He's like, it ain't what daddy used to use. Everybody got the same voice, don't they? You got rid of your filters? Yeah. I got them because um, I'm always thinking that one day my son's going to be like, mommy, let's craft. And I'm like, what do you want to make? Let me look up some child-friendly things in the filter would be one of the things that we could do. But he'd be like, mommy, let's game. I'm like, ah. I have a, uh, you know Ruth Inkwell. She had asked me when he was first, first born, uh, a couple of months into it. She was like, now, since you're a gamer, are y'all, are you going to let him game? I was like, he ain't going to want to do no video games. No, I'm not letting him game. This child. He'd be all over them video games. All over them video games. More so than me. All right, so let's see. Yeah, that looks okay. We need to find another color to... Uh... Rub it in. Let's go with this warm gray. Try this warm gray. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. If you wonder why I'm doing this, the edges don't count. We're going to cut it off, right? So that's not important. And this warm gray. I'm hoping because I want to have our have a few different colors in. I'm hoping that these two colors will uh, mesh well, and it will look like something at the end of my frantic coloring. I want to try to keep the same coloring pattern, which I feel like is up and down. So that's pretty decent, I think. And then let's pull out a, a wild card. Let's do a purple right here. It is all about gaming. Is that how your grandkids are? Are they like, I don't know if they call you granny, green, uh, Gma, TT. You know, some people are like, don't call me grandma. I'm too young. To be a grandma, you like you're 97. How young do you think you really are to be a grandma? Because some people just can't handle it. Like I was thinking about my baby having kids. I was like, hmm. You know, I was thinking about, you know, like going to college. I'm like, hmm. But he's like, I'm never leaving you, mommy. I'm like, you gotta go gotta go you can stay here for as long as you like but you gotta do something you're gonna be talking about hey ma go get me a hamburger uh oh you still at school no you can't still be at school 
That was done. could always cover up this ugly spot let's see though maybe i can use a blue because blue just Ooh. i mean she is the goddess of pollination and why have one color in her hair although we should have did this a little bit different i should have did it a little bit different i can't blame y'all for this i take full responsibility for this uh not coordinated creation that we we got going on but i'm gonna take it we left at 6 15 oh how was um how was today's for the ladies how did they react today they get popsicles hope we get better for you smart you cook dinner what you cook I want to come over. Listen, y'all better beware. You Floridians better beware. Next year. And what you call yourself again, Tam? Because you got mad when I called you the other word. Uh, the vegan. The, the vegan. Y'all better be ready. I'm going to have jokes on deck. Everything. Better be ready. Vegas and yeah, y'all better be ready. Be ready, okay? I'm going to let you know in April if, if it's a go. And yeah, yes, they did. They got pops and got to play with Legos and manga tiles. Nice. Oh, very nice. Ooh. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. We're going to go ahead and go back over these lines. Now, what I need to find is this blender. Because I feel like this blender can save my, my hide right now. Let's see. If it doesn't, we're going to put the flower right here. Just so y'all know, don't be alarmed, okay? We still good. We still good. And I'm going to color her. I'm going to color her skin. I think. <sighs> Not even Las Vegas. Wait. Vegas and, and yes, yes, they did. They uh, this is what I call it. Lord, that's too gold. I wanted her to have like a is this good? Nope, nope. pink okay hold on because we need look i've been doing really good at keeping up cleaning the mess so we need to stick to that um yeah so will anyone have any plans for uh the weekend any crafting plans anything like that i had saw where it was national something month national sip i saw a few people post a uh, conversation i don't know a few of the ladies that i follow had uh posted i didn't get a chance to really look at it because today today was a hot day it was just so uncomfortable i mean every day is a hot day but today i was in the streets it was so uncomfortable birthday parties some kids are jerks miss r's kid is a what until you realize that i know his mama we had chicken nuggies and fries. Ooh. I don't know. 
Uh, let's give her her lipstick. You know what? Let's color her lip. Oh. Can we not? Can we just get it together, uh, please, ma'am? I'm trying. Don't do that to me. I feel like I just want to cut her image out, right? Like, we probably will just end up chopping her out and putting her on something. We're still going to look, we're still using this little napkin. We're still using this little napkin. And I think the next time we stream, I'm going to have to give y'all some proper flowers. I had got my whole box of flowers out, but the hot glue gun was like, no, you need you on your own. I'm going to turn her this way. And I think we're going to give her some silver eyeliner. Why? Because she likes it. Not me, she does. She said, I pollinate anything I want, how I want, and my face is no different. I can do whatever kind of makeup I want. We'll see if she's ugly or not. If she's ugly, I'll redo her off camera. That's cute. I missed the flowering. Make it, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. We made two flowers. This is our first attempt, and it's hideous. So, yeah. We don't talk about that one, though. We don't talk about Bruno, okay? So now what I'm doing, laying down this pink. The pink is lighter. So I am going to go ahead and say I think we're going to fussy cut her out and just re-apply uh, her on something. So I'm just going gently over her skin with this color. We're going to do a little bit of Rana blending, not professional blending. And what does that mean? We're going to take this color, we're going to lay it down once, then we're going to come back over with a different color, and then we're going to come back with this color once more time. And I'm trying to figure out what her makeup, I mean, her lipstick's going to be. I, if you guys don't know who Poet Spice is and you're into coloring, this lady. Mm -mm -mm. I don't watch a lot of coloring people. I think I'm uh, on three three people three or four people that like primarily cuddler and you know poor spices um they call her the die queen she does a lot of amazing things she crochets she die cuts she makes cars she makes albums and she colors um what do people call them? oh she's multifaceted darling and her coloring mm -mm -mm. it looks so professional and i remember one time she had did this was a long time ago she had did a, t t a kind of like a tutorial on using crayola colors and she was like you don't need the fancy colors to make your images look good you just need a little practice and i was like mm -hmm. yep oh that's the wrong color this is the wrong color are we going with this brown i guess so shoot yep And so um, I, I do enjoy watching them. And I watch other people's channels and they do more of like a critique of crayons, colors, markers and stuff like that. And, you know, I color because I enjoy coloring, not because I'm like, oh, the shadow is hitting this way. I need to make sure that I'm at a 90 degree angle with the shadows. I'm just like, that looks good green. I'm a color it green. Whereas other people are truly artists, artisans. They make it look easy. You see that stuff. You're like, ooh, can I? Is it possible that I could do that? And the answer is, yeah. With practice. Practice makes better. So as you see, you can see the lines are a little bit um, rough right now. That's okay. Yeah, I don't, I, you know, a lot of people say practice makes perfect, but it, mm. If that's the case and you go play basketball, every time you shoot the, the basketball, you're going to always get a three-pointer if all you do is practice three-pointers. But that's not true. Or jump shots or free throws, you know, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Same thing with kicking the football through the goalpost. Now, that should be pretty, you know, self-explanatory. Now, I'm going to take this color and I'm going to go back over it. But this time... 
I'm going to take small tiny circles and some of it still has the white from the, the paper. I'm going to do that, girl. This was a third grade reading. Hmm. Some kids smart. I don't know about the context of Hunger Games, but I don't um I don't watch those shows, so I'm not sure if it's like really bad, but I have seen previews, so yeah. But some kids are into that. I remember yeah, fourth grade. I started getting reading things. But I also think that um um it depends on the family. Right? Third grade ain't the same as it was in 1980, 1990, shoot, 2005. So can y'all see the difference now? So like right here, we're doing small little circles. And over here, we were doing back and forth. So now all the small little circles are encompassing the back and forth lines. So since we're doing the back and forth lines, the first two times when we make our circles, it's actually picking up and coloring. It's picking up the colors. And I don't want it to be a heavy color. I want it to be noticeable that they have a skin tone, but it doesn't have to be. Um, the focus is not should not be, oh, we have our pollination goddess and this is how she looks. It should be like what's around her, because as I said, we're going to take something to cover up this little spot on the hair. So if we do that, and, you know, I'm going to fussy cut her out. So we're just fussy cutting just this around. And we may even, yeah, we'll probably do it just like that. And I like the blue lines. I don't mind the blue lines in there at all because it just looks different. Um, I don't mind the purple either. And I feel like our balance, we will find a balance to make this work. So this will be our uh, ongoing project. We may, it won't be next week. Um, I don't even know what next week is. And since... This is the problem, y'all. Since I'm doing the videos at night, I mean, the live streams at nighttime, I may, which I don't want to speak it into existence. Um, I don't want to do two streams. Yeah, my favorite thing, fussy cutting. Y'all like it. So we're going to just um, make these circles like this. The problem with this color, it doesn't feel like it's getting enough pigment down. Whereas the other, some of the other colors are much more creamier. So now this color makes me want to just scrub on, you know, like go harder onto the surface. And that's that's not the intent. The intent is to uh, make the small circles. Make the small circles and pick up, all, you know, color in all the spots. Now for blending, if you really wanted to blend, you can do it multiple times. Whatever your desired effect is you definitely could um get that it just depends now i did watch a video a couple of years ago where it says if you use color pencil you shouldn't take your markers and cover out color over it anymore your buddy is not called me it's not called my wandering spirit every chance she got she would wander down the house yeah i bet I don't know why they don't just put all y'all in the one big area. I don't know. So, making this circles. I do think you need a coloring pad. I don't have a coloring pad. I don't know if those things exist, but I have this paper and it's all wrinkled up. And it's, you can see like right here is darker here, here. It's okay. You know, we can, we can, um, fix it at the end once we actually fussy cut her out run her through the laminated machine but I will probably um, add some shimmer or some type of shiny stuff to her prior to so we could take a 
uh, you know, I used to use fingernail polish, right? Take the fingernail polish and just with the glitter and gloss over her one good time. And then she just have some sparkles, which, you know, it doesn't sound like a bad idea. I just don't have a lot of fingernail polish anymore. I had got rid of, got rid of it. So I probably have to take my metallic paint. I think I have some like clear metal, you know, like a clear shiny something and go over it. And I could just take, um, I have some stuff I could try and, and do. We'll see. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to go over it once more. And as you can see, her skin tone is kind of popping through. She kept going to the restroom down the hall. One of the teachers brought her back to me once. Lord. So now I'm going over this with a circle in the circular motion as well. Yeah, the I, I don't know if this is a good coloring crayon color pencils for large surfaces. Small surfaces, I think they do fine, but I don't feel like they're super pigmented. And y'all know that when I do color images, I like um, the pigment. I like for it to pick up the color. I wanted to pick up the color because what's the use in coloring if it still looks like you haven't colored the image, right? Unless that's what you're going for. And if that's what you're going for, then good job. If that's not what you're going for, then not so good job. So, Mara, what you been um, coloring? I know you said you had gotten into coloring. Are you coloring color markers, pencils? I wish I still had some of my coloring books from when I was a young child. Y'all remember back in the day that coloring papers was yellow, like on the newsprint kind of, but yellow. And um, I used to have Bugs Bunny. And remember, the coloring books were so freaking expensive. Now you can go to Dollar Tree or a dollar store and get a coloring book for a dollar. I wish they could, you know, go into the vault and pull some of those images and make it but you can always find them online all right we're gonna go over her one more time with this color but i need to fix this chin coloring books with markers Ooh, um like the one you got me or are you printing the pages out or from the coloring book like because i fear my biggest fear is bleed through like look and some coloring books unfortunately double side the image and you stuck with a jacked up page so you got to pick the one you like you know me i'm gonna just go ahead and make a copy because what you gonna tell me in my house don't make no copies on your printer with your ink and your you not gonna do that you're not gonna do that to me i'm gonna do what i want to do i'm not selling the images or nothing like that i did i did a couple of months ago buy some images uh from etsy Cause sometimes you're looking for something specific and I always go to the lowest price. Yeah. I copy the pages. That's so nice. Yeah. I'm going to see you this email. Okay. You know, what's so cool about this. It actually looks like we did this with a color pencil. You wouldn't print an image. I would print a car if I could. What? I love that. I love that. I don't know what that means. Is that is that uh we missed her eyeball, her under her under lid. Now back in the day, I used to give makeup to the to the um uh, character. I was gonna say the sim to the character, the color and image. Now I don't like I'm like, nah, we're not trying to do all that. All right. Yeah, I um I prefer I prefer not ruining my books and stuff. I 
think we're going to go with red. Let's see. Is that too red? That might be too red. I would give her a weird color like green or something like that since she is the pollination lady, but let's let's keep her classy, shall we? Keep her classy. <laughs> I don't know what that means about keeping a colored image classy, but you know what I'm talking about, darlings. And so um, I guess we'll make her a flower, a flower book. Well, I don't want it to be so flowery because I don't have a, I don't think I have a lot of quote unquote flower stamps, but what we're going to do, just so you know, we're going to fussy cut her out and we're going to put her on the back and we're going to plop a flower right here. And then alongside the, we could even change the size. We'll have, we, I, I probably will make another one of these. So we'll have, yeah, we'll have white, a yellow here white and then the a white one on top because we got those napkins right and i don't like to waste the napkins i like to use them so i put that here and then we probably put something in the center we'll probably put something in the center and then um whatever the the thing is i need to figure that out we'll probably just put something that says like grow plant where you grow grow where you're planted bloom some some inspirational nonsense you know how we like to do it i'm worried about this lipstick though let's see nicholas don't knock my drink over kitty cat Move, please, sir. Go. He like, I ain't moving. Grow with the flow. Something like that. It needs a rhinestone. I'm probably going to use a button. I have to figure out. I have to see the rest of the project. So, um, you know, you haven't been here a long, long time. But I like to, whenever I make books, I always see the end. Even if I haven't did anything with it, I always see the end of the project first before I can see the uh the process i like to be able to look at the the thing and see the end and then i go from there so since we did we are going to turn this into a book a book cover i might even pull out my um cinch i probably won't but She's going to be on the cover of something. So let me see. She is going to be seven inches. Ooh, seven by six. So yeah, we'll have to um, see that. And we're going to use our scissors real quick because listen, this is the end of this project, I think. Now, cutter bee scissors are supposed to be super sharp. I don't know how I feel about that, considering um, I can be clumsy sometimes with my scissoring. Yes, scissoring is a word, in case you did not know. Who um, verified and told me that it was a word? I didn't need no verification. I ain't need nobody to tell me that it was a word. All right, so we got this. Look, 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 look. She cute. Y'all remember in high school, in elementary school? Well, I went to school a thousand years ago, a long, long time ago, right? Not a thousand, but a long, in the land, the land before time, a long, 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 long. How many longs are we going to say? A long time ago. I, um went to school and this usually happened around black history month we make silhouettes of ourselves because we have like martin luther king malcolm x uh madam cj walker uh uh what is that man's name george washington carver 
uh, we'd have all of their images and they would always be like silhouettes. So we would stand against the wall and people would trace us out and we would cut them out. And we put our, we made like a little book out of it. And that's what this image reminds me of. Not that my hair was ever uh, 50 tones of colors, but it was, it is curly and long. Now it's in this natural state, but my mom used to straight comb it, press it. Oh, Lord, let's not even, let's not even talk about that. Let's not, please. Uh, PTSD right here. Um, but yeah, she would, um, we would trace those images out. So, that's what she makes me think of. My son just knocked something over, and uh, his daddy just fussed that in. I'm not sure if y'all can hear it or not. Yeah, straightening. Yeah, we used to straighten it. My head not straight anymore, though. Yeah, scissoring has been a word. Doesn't mean what you want it. Oh, my goodness, Pink Bay. Oh, I don't know what that scissoring means. I know about spooning, but not scissoring. What did the we did that for Mother's Day? Oh, nice straightening. Yeah. Um do the silhouettes and like make a little book and it tell you like who I am. You know, my name is uh left-handed crafter and I cut paper and I crack jokes. But it was more serious than that, like what you want to be when you grow up. I used to want to be a lot of firsts back in the day. And some of those firsts still exist. But let me tell y'all something. Sometimes being the first person to kick in a door on something, regardless if it's race-related or uh, gender-related or whatever, can be troublesome. And, ooh, we... Now I'm okay with being the 99th person that does it. You know, no, I, um... Not to be... Not, not that I'm being funny. I, um... I find contentment in things that I never found contentment in. Like, I don't like fussy cutting, but you you didn't hear me complaining about it that much at all. Because it's, it's bigger fish in the sea to fry. I need to get a void ray today. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's important. I got other things I need to do. Like, I want to be the first female gamer that has her own company and brings on a lot of other gamers, and that's what we do, and we get paid. And then also, at the same time, I want you to be able to walk out the room and go to the, the cutting table and make a card for your cousin because you forgot, and, you're, and they invited you to the birthday party, which is in an hour, and you got all the supplies. You know what I'm saying? She kind of gives me Belle. She has Belle hair right here. She has bell hair right here. But I can almost attest that this is a mermaid. I have a mermaid book that I had got from um, Five and Below when it was Five and Below for real. Not Five and Below and they got stuff for $15, $10. Uh, I did leave some white around here because I wanted to, not because I can't fussy cut, just so y'all know. I actually chose to give her a border. But yeah, what y'all think? What y'all think? Did we did we do anything? Did y'all have fun? Are y'all okay with this time? This is a good time. It's five dollars and fifty five. It's it's too much. Just like the Dollar Tree is not a Dollar Tree. It's it's the it's 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 too much. All right. So I I feel like I am content. We actually completed this project as it stands right now. Um, thank you all so much for hanging out with me. I want to say from the bottom of my heart, thank you, thank you, thank you for the support. I'll see y'all next Tuesday, 7 Central Standard Time PM. Uh, I'll let you know if anything changes tomorrow. I'm going to send you an email tonight or tomorrow. Um, thank you for coming. Thank y'all for coming. I want to say uh, I hope you have a great rest of your day, uh, night. Yeah, great night. And if you're watching this on replay, thank you so much. I appreciate you. Until next time, happy crafting.